This is a drawing tutorial sharing how I would go about drawing a simple red tulip flower. And a big shout out to one of my Instagram followers, Shalvi Katz, who suggested this idea uh, as a possible subject for a future video. So one of the first things you've seen me do is plot the very middle of the piece of paper that I'm working on. I do that by just running down from each diagonal to each diagonal um, on each side as well. So that creates a sort of a basic cross idea and I can find the middle of my piece of paper there and you can see I put a little pencil line. Now what I'm doing is I'm working really really lightly to just sketch in the basic overall shape of the tulip. Super lightly, nothing heavy here so I can rub out mega easily if anything goes a bit wrong. So I'm working everything around the center um, of the piece of paper. And if you look closely, you can see that I've also plotted a little pencil line in the very center of the photograph of the tulip as well. And I'm using that now. You can see as I'm tracing that pencil line up that um, petal there, I can see that that's where I'm going to move through the center and start to draw that first petal. I've also plotted that one so I know that the top of that petal right in the center at the top, moving upwards there, is the tip of that is right dead level with the center as well. So I'm already using little guidelines and the way that certain things level up with other parts of the picture and match up and line up with other parts of the picture in order to try and get this proportion correctly. So I know that that big, big petal in the middle is right at the top, so I've got to run the sides of that petal down. And once I've done that and run them down, I need to sort of guesstimate how thick they're going to be. So I'll look at the photograph for this and I'm, you know, just giving it a bit of a guesstimate. Like I say, I'm working nice and lightly so I can change it if I have to. What you can see me drawing on the photograph there is a line that traces the, the edge of these two petals matching up. Then you can see me doing the corresponding pencil line on the drawing. So I know that that small middle petal down at the bottom matches up and lines up with this petal that sticks out on the top left hand side. So again, I'm using lines from the photograph, sort of invisible lines I call them, but lines that help things match up and line up in order for you to get this in proportion. You can see me tracing another one there as well, going from one petal as it crosses into another one. So I know that this very, very last bottom petal is slightly bigger and it's gonna slightly overlap as you then see me move to the far left petal and try and draw this kind of curling edge of that petal before I then move on to drawing this bit that I was talking about which says it overlaps. So you can see me have a little look at the picture and that V shape that's cut into the edge of that petal and I need to try and make sure that I scope that in. So I, I put that in first and then I draw the edges of that petal. Like I said it overlaps that guideline that I've drawn that sweeps across from the, the other petal on the right hand side and then I use that and go under and work my way downwards and I'm having a little look at where the base of that petal is going to be by coming down from the center and then working my way around and up around the sides and I'm getting a little bit heavy with the pencil lines here because you can see I'm getting a little bit more confident about you know perhaps the shapes and where they ought to be and then I move to this sort of um, on the left center left petal here and I'm trying to figure out where it starts to begin and where you can see it and I use that center line you can see me tracing that center line back and forth to a point where those two petals kind of split apart and that's where I know that the edge of that petal becomes visible and I start to draw that coming up um, from behind the other petal to the point where you can see it and then curve it over and down just giving a little bit of maybe some little kind of um, edge detail there so that it's not just straight. And here you can see me trying to figure out how wide this tall center petal is. And you can see me working little guidelines and, and some little lines around from that center petal. And then I can work my way down. So I start at the top and I start to work my way down, showing that little bit where there's an overlap, where the, the petal curves over, and just gradually tracing it down. Now here what you can see me doing is using those two petals that are on the left and the right to try and figure out um, where they start, where they begin, where they start to become visible from behind another one. So what I do is I draw the center line on that left hand petal first, but then trace that center line up and over in a nice gentle curve because that seems to match up. You can see I've drawn the line on the photo that matches up with where that petal becomes visible over on this uh, right hand side as you see it come out from behind the big tall um, petal in the middle. So once I've got where the, the top of that petal and the base of that petal need to be, then what I'm drawing here is I'm drawing the basic shape of it, trying to give it some 3D, trying to get some depth and the way that it juts out um, towards the right hand side as well. And you see me actually pick up a putty rubber here, soft putty rubber, and actually rub out some of these lines. And I really try to work as lightly as possible, so I have to use the rubber as little as possible. 
Um, because I always figured that, you know, time spent rubbing out is time that you've lost to the drawing. So I try and focus on the drawing and try and use the putty rubber as little as possible. But I, I do start to get a bit fussy and start rubbing out some of those light guidelines that I've used in order to help me get the basic shapes of this flower going on. So with the basics drawn in, you will notice now that I start to get a little bit fussy with the shapes and change some of those shapes. Perhaps where I see somewhere is too thick or too thin, or it's not high enough in the picture, it's not low enough in the picture. Now that I've got all the petals in, I can start shifting them and moving them around and, and doing a little bit of tweaking in order to try and get them um, even better proportioned than they are currently. So here you can see me drawing that little petal that just sort of peeks through in between the tall petal in the center and the one on the right. Uh, and I just use a simple guideline there. You can see I've drawn it in where it basically says to me, this guideline says that the tops of each of those petals touch on this diagonal line. So I draw one on the drawing and then I'm able to stick that little tiny petal in there as well. So again, what you can see me doing here is just doing some gentle little tweaks, you know, I'm just fattening out and maybe making some of those petals a bit fatter, a bit thicker, maybe a tiny bit taller, and then I'm getting the putty rubber in because I can mold that tip to a very, very fine tip, and I can just rub out some of those guidelines um, that I used in order to help me draw this. I also put in a few of the center lines that you can see for the petals. Um, so I'm going to know exactly, you know, when I'm starting to color it and when I'm starting to paint it, where I need dark areas, where I'm going to need light streaks for those lines that, you know, run up the center. And this is just my slightly haphazard way of drawing a picture where I jump around a little bit. It has a certain structure and it would probably be easier if I drew a grid on the photograph and drew a grid on the paper and then I basically just transferred what was in each of those grid squares across and I used to do that but it's quite time consuming and also it makes a very very tight drawing at least this way there'll be perhaps a few little mistakes in and make it a bit more expressive. So now what I do is I correct some of the mistakes that I've seen by using guidelines. See the pencil guideline I just traced, it shows that that left hand petal and that right hand petal should be level with each other but you can see that this one on the left hand side is lower. So what I do here is I just work to extend it upwards, to take it upwards about half a centimeter so that it's a little bit more level with that one over on the right hand side. So it's following the kind of guidelines, the invisible lines as I call them, and the proportions of the photograph. And when I'm happy with the kind of height that I raised it to, I just get the putty rubber in there again and I just rub out those little guidelines that I popped in there to, to help me get everything level and proportioned. And I just sort of tidy up some of those edges and tidy up some of those lines. It really becomes a lot easier once you've got the basic shapes of, of the entire flower in um, because then you can start making these little tweaks. You know, you can see I'm dropping this, that right hand petal down a little bit now so it's even more level with the top of that one on the left hand side. Um, you know, I figured out that that petal was too thick a while ago. I made one change to it, now I'm making another change to it to make it a lot thinner over the, the sort of the center part of that petal. And that's what this part of the drawing is all about. It's all about looking over it trying to look at it as a whole instead of each individual petal and then looking at what needs tweaking and what needs changing. Uh, you know, making some of those petals just a little bit taller, a little bit fatter, a little bit rounder. Again, comparing stuff to the photograph and here I am pointing things out like the gap on, on my drawing is bigger than the gap that you see in the picture and perhaps the height of that petal is not as high as it should be in the picture. So I'm pointing out things with the pencil and I'm making a sort of mental list with myself of things I need to tweak and things I need to change. That bit is too fat with the way that I've drawn it. Okay, My sort of petal is pointing upwards diagonally but that one bulges out almost straight um, east you know so I need to change that because uh, that looks a bit off and it looks a bit weird on my drawing. So that's what I go about doing now. I'm trying to um, take that curve off a little bit. You can see I've redrawn it as I come back down and I'm going to rub out the, the top bit so that that petal looks as though it's growing much more out just to the east rather than upwards and out diagonally making it look a bit too fat and, and sort of bulge outwards a bit too much. You could argue that and perhaps I'm being a bit fussy with some of the changes and some of the little corrections I'm making here. But I mean, when you start to look at the photo in depth and you use those kind of pencil guidelines that I sort of scribble all over it, then once you've noticed these kind of things, it would just nag away at me if I didn't tweak them. Even though they're quite small little changes, it would just bother me and bug me if I didn't do it. So I, I kind of feel almost obsessed <laughs> that I have to go back in and I need to maybe just like alter that line a little bit or shape that petal a little bit more, um, you know, a little differently. So it's really getting there and I'm quite pleased with it. I'm thinking this is probably ready to paint, but then I notice that the gap between the edge of that petal and this tall one in the middle is 
very narrow on my drawing and much wider on the photograph. So I just do a little bit of a tweak and I just change and alter the side edge of that petal. So shaving off a bit of it, uh, basically, to make it uh, thinner and narrower. Uh, and that's what you can see me rubbing out now. And that exposes then a bit more of that petal that's up in the top left and gives me a bit more to play with there when I start painting it. So then all I need to do is correct the kind of center lines that I'd drawn that were, you know, the ones that were coming down through what is the center of that petal. So a little bit of rubbing out and a little bit of just correction with a pencil. And I just realized that explaining your drawing process and how you actually draw a picture is actually quite difficult. It's probably very different for every single person. It's almost intuitive and it's kind of difficult to do. Um, but I hope I've done okay. Let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you thought this was a helpful video. And if you did like it, please don't forget to share and subscribe and um, check out some of the links below.